Grab a drink, kick your shoes off, and relax as we ease our way into the rest hold, which is our commercial break segment where we like to give some shout-outs to anything with a mango tree and smart out moment and an assortment of other things out there that we want you guys to be paying attention to this week or that we just want to throw out some reference to or something of the sort. Outside interference for this week... I've only written one article so far, and that's WWE Night of Champions 2014 Smart Builds for the pay-per-view's Top Feuds, which you can find on BleacherReport.com. But I might be writing some more up, I might be putting some things up on eWrestlingNews.com, so stay tuned to every place that you can find those links to see if anything does pop up. And the places where you can find those links are obviously the two websites themselves, if you go to my profiles on there. But you can also find links on Facebook and Twitter accounts for Tony Mango and Smart Out Moment. There might be some links on the YouTube description if I can go back and remember to add those in there. And the best place to find them is under the Outside Interference banner on the homepage of SmartOutMoment.com. Then we have Smart My Words, where I showcase one of the comments that you guys had left on the YouTube channel from the previous episode. This week, the honor goes to Kevin Smith for his comment, I'm not scared, Brock's kryptonite is melanin. Every time he steps into the ring with a black or brown person, he gets destroyed. I gotta double check the history records about that, but if that is true, then hey, we know what John Cena's strategy needs to be for Night of Champions, right? (laughs) Loved your work on Clerks, by the way, Kevin Smith. (laughs) Thank you for sending that in, and thank you to everybody else for leaving your comments. Make sure you guys do that again this week, and tell us to smart your words. The next edition of the monthly mailbag is going to be coming up on the next episode of Smack Talk, number 148. So if you guys want to submit any questions to us to get to know us better or pick our brains about any kind of subjects that you're interested in knowing our opinions about, fill up that inbox by going to the contact form on smartoutmoment.com. Shoot us an email that way and we will answer anything you guys send our way next week on the show. If you happen to be going to a wrestling event of some sort and you want to show your support for Smart Out Moment and Smack Talk, then be sure to take advantage of the Sign Me Up initiative. Just bring a sign that says SmartOutMoment.com to that event and send me a picture or a video of it, and I'll feature it on the website and the next episode of Smack Talk. And if you throw the sign around, then I'm going to eject you from the arena as well. <laughs> WWE style, right? So remember last week when I mentioned that the YouTube channel for Fanboys Anonymous was terminated for no real good reason? Well, YouTube has decided to admit that they were wrong, and they reinstated the channel. But here's the kicker. They reinstated the old YouTube channel, and not the one that was actually terminated the other day. You see, we had a channel before, .com slash Fanboys Anonymous, which was originally where we uploaded all of our podcasts. And that channel was taken down around October of last year. Uh, It was for the same reason as what this current one was taken down for, the .com slash Fanboys Anon channel, where people were mad that our movie reviews were not the movies themselves, which would be completely illegal for us to do. YouTube, in the midst of me trying to battle it out with them and get our Fanboys Anon channel reinstated, reinstated the old one from a year ago which is still a huge positive because we get those channel views back and we get the old episodes that I had not been able to back up in time and everything else like that but that means all of the work from the past eight months has been completely erased still and the fanboys anon account is completely inaccessible so the good news YouTube does have a Fanboys Anonymous channel on it, and that is youtube.com slash fanboysanonymous. That is our old channel, and that is where we're going to be uploading everything from now on. And who knows, maybe YouTube will eventually admit their fault with the Fanboys Anon one, and we'll have two accounts, which we really shouldn't have bothered to deal with in the first place, because the first one should never have been taken down. But nonetheless, eventually... I'm proven right all the time in these battles against Google, and I'm sure I'm going to win this one as well. So, if you would like to help us out with getting back some of the steam that we've missed out on from the past year of dealing with this complete bullshit, 
go ahead and subscribe to the new slash old YouTube channel, youtube.com slash fanboysanonymous. Follow the Facebook and Twitter accounts. Go to fanboysanonymous.com, as usual, for everything in geek culture. And spread it around, share the pages and everything with everybody. We would greatly appreciate that, guys. Lastly, if you would like to join the Smart Out Moment team as a writer or an editor or some other different positions that are out there, maybe social media, media and design, etc., go ahead and send an application using the contact form on the website. And once you shoot me that email, I will shoot you one back as soon as possible with more information and more details about how to become a member of the Smart Out Moment squad. Well, we can't sit around and do the rest hold all day. We need to get back to work and do the main event of this episode of Smack Talk. So if you are watching this on YouTube, click on that next video. If you're on iTunes and Stitcher, just sit tight and the rest will come your way. We will see you there, everybody. Thank you for listening to this rest hold. We'll be right back. <laughs>